to his um, paralyzed from the waist down. I just have to look at him, it brings tears to my eyes. I never think about all the things that he, that he loved to do. And he can't do them anymore. <sighs> this should never happen to him. And this is why the top brass are getting twitchy. All she seems to care about is holding someone else responsible and getting as much publicity as possible. Justice for Jay, come on, are they serious? When I mean, the geezer was drunk, he crashed his car. Where's the injustice? We've got to take it seriously. Right, I've read your statements, and I'm sure we're covered. Is there anything else I need to know? I'm assuming you're happy with everything you've written. Yeah, of course. Jeff? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Control to 3006, mail with acute chest pain, 34 MD Do you have to stay here for this meeting? No, 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 you take it. OK, 3006 to control, receive that. Thank you on our way. Excuse me. Look, this isn't about Jay or his accident, or about my complaint. It's a completely separate private family matter. Excuse me. Nicole, Nicole, how's your baby sister doing? You probably know more than I do. I'm sorry, it's been a difficult time. Nicole. Nicole. Oh, yes. All right, let's be clear. You guys remain outside this building. No photos in reception. Follow those guidelines, and we'll all get on famously. Uh, Nicole. Hi, I don't know if you remember me. Um, um, Dr. Hannah? Yes. yes, of course. Would you like me to show you something to wait for your meeting? Uh, no, look, I've, I've had a phone call from my mum. My baby sister's collapsed. And she's come here? Yeah. What's her name? Millie Clancy. Louise, have we admitted a Millie Clancy? She's just been transferred to CDU Cubicle 5. Oh, very good. And can you let security know that I want the entrance cleared for emergencies? Could you follow me, please? she here? Look at her. She looks fine. I don't really know. Well, where's the doctor? Look, have you even asked what's wrong with her yet? I'll tell you what, I'll go and find that out for you. Thanks. Awesome. Looking for signs of an infection, but she has come back with higher than usual sodium levels. Yeah, well, what does that mean? Dehydration, most probably. But high levels of sodium can cause seizures. So how's she been over the last few days? Excessive sweating, diarrhea, vomiting? No. No. So up until this morning's episode, she's been quite healthy doing her morning routine of eating and drinking. Look, surely this is just like the fits that she's had before. We've been told to keep her cool when she's got a temperature. Mum, you should have been doing that. I understand this can be an emotional time. Uh, you have no idea. It doesn't seem like there was anything your mother could have done to prevent the seizure. Millie doesn't have or didn't have an obvious fever. <sighs> well, then, what caused the fit? That's what we're trying to figure out. Did she even have one? Nicole. What? Mm. Is that what this is? But the spotlight is off you for five minutes. She did collapse, I promise you. The paramedics report confirmed. Do you know what? I don't trust your paramedics, right? And I don't trust you. I'm sorry, Mum, this has happened too many times. Hiya. Sorry, I don't think we've been introduced. Oh, Nicole asked me along today to help. This is really difficult for her, so just to be clear, she thought it would be better if I talked about the nature of her complaint. OK. That makes sense to me. So, the complaint that she wishes to raise is towards the Ambulance Trust and the care Jay received at the scene. Well, the paramedics who attended the accident are both very experienced. And having spoken to them, they're really very sorry for what's happened to Jay. So, is that an admission of liability? That's two professionals expressing their sympathy. Sorry, who did you say you were again? I'm Anna Clifford. 
I represent Jay Kemble and Nicole Clancy on their legal matters. I didn't realise this had become a legal matter. It hasn't. Yet. However sympathetic your paramedics may be, it doesn't excuse the fact that Nicole and Jay believe that they failed to treat his injuries in accordance with standard procedure. I'm sorry they think that. I'm sorry you think that. And personally, I am extremely sorry for what happened to Jay. For a young man in his profession, it, it must be especially difficult. But having been through the statements of the paramedics and having spoken to them, I really feel that they did everything they could to help him. We have an independent witness who says that when the paramedics arrived and assessed Jay's injuries, the female paramedic turned her back and walked away. Jay was the highest priority casualty and was abandoned for some time when he should have been immobilised immediately. But both statements clearly state that Jay Campbell refused to be treated. Oh, no, he didn't. Jay didn't refuse. Why would he, eh? Why would anyone? They're lying. Do you hear me? That is an absolute lie. Following a complaints meeting with the Ambulance Trust and their failure to provide satisfactory answers as to why Jay Kemble was denied treatment at the scene of the accident, we have been left with no choice but to issue legal proceedings against them. And with regards to the family matter that brings Nicole to Holby City Hospital today, she asks that you kindly respect her privacy. Nicole, okay. Okay, folks, you've had the statement. Stay away from the entrance. People are working here. You are hugging And don't make any further comment without my instruction. I hope you understand why I needed to take control of that situation. Yeah, because you didn't want the bad press you deserve. Nicole. Your complaint is with the Ambulance Trust, not with me. Look, just take me to see my sister, right? I want to see how she's doing. Uh, I've got that. Come and follow me. Thank you. Mum? What is it? What's wrong? You can't call it epilepsy if you haven't tested for it. She's had four seizures without specific cause. That's epilepsy. Now, I've made a referral to the specialist. They're going to be in contact with you by letter regarding a specific date. But if she has another episode in the meantime, please bring her straight in. And I think I should also let you know that I've made a referral to social services. I'm a little concerned about your ability to cope with Millie at the moment, and I think you could do with a little bit of help. No, we're doing fine. They'll be in contact with you regarding initial conversation. Excuse me, are you not listening to me? I said we're doing fine. You're not going to take her away from us, do you hear me? Us? We don't see you. Mum, I have been looking after Jay, all right? He doesn't even see you. I am there every day. For an hour at the most. Guys, calm down. All you care about is where the next interview is coming from. Who you can sell your soft no, story to. No, it has not been like that. Did you call the press today? Is that why they're out there? I do need someone to take her. No, Mum, please. Look, you cannot I've say that. I've been bringing you, asking you to help me. If all this were for Jay, I'd understand, but it's not. It's for you. I don't even know who you are anymore. I was just leaving. I knew, uh, Jay would still be walking if it hadn't been for you. Nicole, I know you're looking for someone to blame. And I understand why you went to the press and why you got lawyers involved. You saw how aggressive he was. I couldn't treat him. No. No, this wasn't his fault. You told me yourself that he hit you, that he emotionally abused you. You more than anybody should know what he's like. Now yeah, will I put up with that? I put up with this aggression in a state. 
You know, maybe if I had uh, walked away years ago, I would have been stuck with him now in the state that he's in. Just desperately clinging on to anything that makes being with him bearable. You know, my family hate me. I put up with his abuse for years. And I never walked away, not once. But you did. No, I tried. No. You had every chance to put that collar around his neck. And that could have saved his legs. Now, I don't care how slim the chances were. That could have made the difference, and you know that. So no matter what you decide to put in your statement, you know that. Now these are the details of the woman from social services. She's going to be in touch. And like I said, keep an eye on the little one. <laughs> so try and get some rest yourself, OK? Thank you. So. Oh, I spoke to Dr. Kent earlier about the referrals. If there's anything you want to discuss. I uh, know. Thanks. OK. Oh! Oh! <laughs> right. Time to go home. Hey. Come on, forget about the press and the interviews. You were right was for me. But as I, I was hoping that you and Millie would like to come home and stay with me. You see, I've, I've got this big empty house I, and I could help you. And you could help me with Jay. Oh, I'm sorry. All right.